Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a Chinese action film called Kung Fu Chefs. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Wang Ping Yi works as a chef in a village in China. He is also the bearer of the Dragon Head Cleaver, a symbol of power to his clan. Everyone from the clan knows and respects him, much to his nephew, Wang Kai Zhou's annoyance. Kai Zhou believes that he should be the rightful owner of the Sacred Cleaver, since his father was the last owner. One day, Ping Yi and his clan are hired to work for a huge gathering organized for the higher officials of the village. Ping Yi's disciple accidentally burns the pork, which was supposed to be the main dish. He scolds the guy and takes it upon himself to slaughter and cook the pig in less than 30 minutes. Using the sacred cleaver, he cuts the pig with precision in only a few seconds. Half an hour later, the dish is ready to be served. Ping Yi adds some salt to the dish as a finishing touch, not knowing that his disciple has mixed a drug in it under Kai Zhou's order. The dish is arranged beautifully and served to the guests. Soon, they start to fall down because of the drug, and the blame falls upon Ping Yi's cooking. He realizes what his disciple has done and asks him for the reason. The guy pushes him aside and runs away, scared of being caught. Ping Yi runs behind him, but is stopped by a group of men who accuse him of trying to poison them. Besides being a cook, Ping Yi is also an excellent martial artist. He single-handedly takes on the group of men and defeats them all. At last, he finally catches his disciple and is about to hit him with a cleaver when his associate stops him. He belittles Ping Yi for trying to blame others for his mistake. Before Ping Yi can explain himself, he is kicked out of the village, deemed unworthy to be the owner of the Dragon Cleaver. Somewhere else, in the School of Martial Arts and Cooking, a teacher organizes a competition between his students. He announces that the one who can put the school's emblem back to its original place will receive a special gift. The students go crazy to get the emblem and start fighting each other. One of them, named Lum Kin Yat, climbs on top of the tables, kicks the others away, and acquires it. But the others attack him before he can put the emblem back. Amidst the chaos, the emblem lands on the teacher's hand, and the students attack him as well. During a chase, Kin Yat gets his hands on the emblem and puts it back on the platform without anyone seeing him. During the lunch break, the teacher comes to the cafeteria looking for Kin Yat. He plays a prank on the teacher and gets into a friendly fight with him. Kin Yat proves his talent by fighting using just a roll of dough and turning it into noodles at the same time. The teacher advises him to meet a cook named Shun Fong Quan. He believes that Kin Yat has learned everything he can from the school, but he is yet to learn about the deep idea of food. Later, Kin Yat leaves, looking for the master chef Shun Fong Quan to start his training. The master chef works in a restaurant named Four Seas. The owner of the restaurant, Shum Ching, is looking for several different recipes to improve the ratings. Her sister, Shum Ying, helps her with the process, but the sisters are distressed because the dishes are not up to their standard. Kin Yat arrives, looking for Shum, and is asked to wait. At the same time, Ping Yi also arrives at the hotel to enjoy traditional Cantonese food. Ching offers Ping Yi some tea and is surprised when he can tell apart their secret ingredient from only one sip. To test the hotel's chef, Shun, Ping Yi orders traditional Chinese food called the water cabbage. The chef brings the dish and asks for Ping Yi's opinion on it. When he calls the food bland, Shun gets offended and challenges Ping Yi to a cookout. Since they will need an assistant, Kin Yat offers to help Ping Yi. Ching wants to create innovative dishes for her restaurant, so she doesn't object. After some time, both the chefs present their dishes. Shum's signature chicken is delicious, but on tasting Ping Yi's traditional chicken, the sisters are amazed. A flashback shows us that he coated the chicken with sugar syrup to make it remain boiling from the inside. As described in the traditional recipe books, he didn't even use a knife to cut the pieces. Shum accepts his defeat and resigns from his position as a cook in the restaurant. In his place, Ching appoints both Ping Yi and Kin Yat as the head chef and the helper. That night, she finds out that Ping Yi's brother, who taught him everything about cooking, is also her father's student. She is more than happy to have someone like Ping Yi as their head chef because his cooking style and principles are identical to her father's. 
To see if Ping Yi is really as talented as he seems, Kin Yat challenges him to a fish cutting competition. Kin Yat chooses a globe fish for his dish. It needs very skilled cutting abilities to chop the fish without losing its original taste. Kin Yat impresses Ping Yi with his skills with this one. When it's Ping Yi's turn, he uses a normal prime fish for the dish. He slices off parts of its flesh and leaves the fish alive, even after making a dish out of it. Both Ching and Kin Yat are shocked to see that the fish can still swim. They register that no one can compete against Ping Yi's cutting skills. The next day at work, Kin Yat is ready to learn things from his new master. To his disappointment, Ping Yi gives him the task to sharpen the knives. He stays up the entire night to complete the task and gets it done by the morning. But when he shows it to Ping Yi, the cook is still not impressed. He says that before teaching him how to cook, he will have to learn to cut meat and vegetables, since slicing, mincing, and grinding technique are the basics of a great cook. Kin Yat is given the responsibility to cut all the vegetables that are used in the restaurant. Ping Yi's nephew, Kai Jo, who is responsible for him getting kicked out of the village, also owns a restaurant in the city that is a rival to the Four Seas restaurant. He hates his uncle for being the reason his father left the village a long time ago. Chef Shum meets Kai Jo, asking to be hired as a chef in his restaurant, now that he has resigned from his old job. But Kai Jo says they already work with a master chef and do not need his services. When he finds out that the uncle he hates works for his rival restaurant, he is agitated. Kai Jo's right-hand man, Leung, who was a village member a long time ago, suggests he forget about the rivalry since he cannot go against his uncle. This angers him even more, and he almost beats Leung to death. A flashback shows us that Kai Jo's father, Wang Ping Kei, was a great cook, but with time, he turned into an alcoholic. Ping Yi was against his brother being the bearer of the Dragon Cleaver because of this. One night, they got into a fight, which ended when Kai hurt his hand, making him unable to cook. After leaving Ping Yi in charge of his son, he left the village, but Kai Jo still blames Ping Yi for his father's disappearance and wants revenge. Back in the present, Kin Yat continues to cut the vegetables for two weeks straight. During this time, he playfully bickers with Ying and starts liking her. Ping Yi teaches his techniques to all the restaurant employees, including Ying and Kin Yat. Their ratings soon go up because of his innovative dishes. One night, Kai Jo and his associates come to the restaurant for a meal. They put nails on the dish and blame the cook for putting their lives in danger. Somehow, all of the customers are dumb enough to believe this, and they leave the premises, refusing to eat the food. Kai Jo insults Ping Yi, but the man remains calm and apologizes. He doesn't want to fight with his family and understands why his nephew would hate him. In the following scene, Kin Yat and Ying are at a store shopping for groceries. They are distressed because after the nail fiasco, they have lost half of their customers. Ying notices Kai Jo is also shopping for groceries near them. Still mad at him for ruining their business, she attacks the guy. Kai Jo's henchmen soon join and fight against the two. Kin Yat easily beats them up in no time, while Ying struggles against Kai Jo. At one point, they are surrounded by the rival group, but manage to trick them and run away. While trying to catch their breaths, they see an advertisement for the Chef of the Year competition. If their chef wins the competition, their ratings will go up again. However, when they ask Ping Yi to be in the competition, he refuses. It turns out he had gotten a call from his village that morning. They are asking him to return because, after his departure, nothing has been the same. Ping Yi is confident in his teachings and asks Kin Yat to represent their restaurant in the competition. The next day, Kin Yat and his assistant get ready for the first round of the competition. They are going against six other chefs, but their biggest opponents are Shum and his partner, Chef Chow To. The competition begins and the chefs make their signature dishes. For the first few minutes, Kin Yat contemplates what would be the best dish to make. Ching, from the audience, suggests he make a horse platter that is made of pigeon, duck, and chicken. The dish is complicated to make because it can overcook pretty easily, but if made correctly, it is delicious. Kin Yat starts working on his dish. In the meantime, Chow To skins an ox's head to cook a famous Szechuan dish. An hour later, all the dishes are presented in front of the judges. They critique all of them, but when it comes to Kin Yat's horse platter, they only have nice things to say. They also seem to enjoy Chow To's dish thoroughly. The results are announced, and both Chow To and Kin Yat pass the first round. 
Now, for the final round, they will have to go head to head. Kenyat and the team celebrate their first win and start preparing for the finals. When Kaijo finds out about this, he sends some thugs to beat up Kenyat so he wouldn't be present in the next competition. Kenyat fights them to his best, but is locked up in a refrigerator with Ying. The following day, he somehow manages to escape with Ying's help and is back in the competition. In the village, Kaijo goes to meet his uncle to kill him once and for all. Ping Yi is attacked by a group of thugs who he fights bravely. Even after getting beaten up pretty badly, he manages to send them away and teach his nephew a lesson. He has a chance to kill Kai Jo, but he doesn't because he still thinks of him as family. In the meantime, the cooking competition begins. This time, the chefs are told to make a simplistic soup dish, but without any seasoning. This means they will have to make it flavorful using only the main ingredients. Chow To quickly starts to cook a traditional chicken soup, while Kin Yat thinks about Ping Yi's teachings. He remembers the cabbage and water dish that Ping Yi had ordered when he first came to the restaurant. It has only three ingredients with no seasoning, and if cooked with the right technique, the simple dish will blow people's minds. He starts to cook it right, how Ping Yi had taught him. He uses minced chicken mixed with water for the soup. Following that, he pokes holes in the cabbages to run the soup through them and make it flavorful. Chow To, on the other hand, uses a traditional oven to cook his chicken soup thoroughly. However, he uses more ingredients than Kin Yat and goes slightly against the rules. Ping Yi arrives there and compliments Kin Yat for doing his best. At last, the judges are served with two equally appetizing dishes. At first, they try Chow To's soup and are mind blown by the flavors. But when they try Kin Yat's dish, they simply close their eyes and stay frozen, enjoying its simplicity. Chow To goes to one of the judges and tries his leftovers. When he gets a taste, he simply takes his hat off, accepting defeat. Kin Yat and the team celebrate the win. Ping Yi even hands him the dragon head cleaver as a gift. To everyone's surprise, Ping Yi's older brother, who had disappeared years ago, arrives at the set. He reconciles with Ping Yi and even tries the cabbage water dish. A few weeks later, all of them are at the restaurant. Kin Yat has decided to go on a tour with Ping Yi to learn about all the different cuisines in the world. In the last scene, he promises his girlfriend Ying to return soon. 